Today's flavor cast is brought to you by Juju's Incompetence. Nah, but real talk, I accidentally had the gain up too high on my blue Yeti, and that just kind of distorted the audio for me specifically. I tried to fix what I could in Audacity, but you can only do so much when the audio gets that messed up. So apologies for that. Thanks a lot for listening. Let's get to it. Welcome, boys and girls of all ages, to another FlavorCast, FlavorCast 7. It's me, your boy, Juju, joined with, once again, Alec. Hello. And someone that you may remember from previous videos, particularly on Bushi Gaming with Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, and back on Game Flavor with the Wind Waker live stream. It's your boy, Patrick. Meow. <laughs> Before we, candy. I'm eating candy. I'm not. I am drinking white grape peach, uh, old orchard. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, dog. Where's your Mexican beer? I don't. I didn't go to the liquor store today. I was too busy. But I do have alcohol. Uh, well, speaking of which, uh, if you're listening to this podcast or flavor cast, as it were, go ahead and relax. Sit down. Uh, maybe grab a drink, casually drink it, or binge. I don't know what you do, I don't care, but either way, I'm going into some news here, as we typically do at the beginning of every flavor cast. First off, we got The Last of Us Part 2's new release schedule, that being this year, June 19th. Yeah, you know, right away. June 19th release date, if you already said it. I did. And <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and dive in and address the controversy right away. As you know, big fan of the last of us over here messages from dang fools online trying to spoil the dang game for me let me tell you i ain't reading them fools i'm gonna dodge that i'm gonna wait till june 19th i'm gonna play this game fresh i might even stream it who knows it's gonna be great we're not we don't care if the story isn't gonna turn out as good as it's gonna be sometimes a game is all about the game play that game's gameplay looks amazing you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't be dissing pineapple on pizza. All right, yeah. Yeah. If I could box you guys through the Discord, I would. Listen, you you, you flatlined taste bud half an ass. I knew you were going to fucking say that. <laughs> bottle at you, Jules. You know what happens when I chuck bottles at people. Instant kills. <laughs> You're not ready to have that conversation, but moving on. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is scheduled to release July 17th. Ooh. Pretty cool. Ghost Actually, pretty of your mama. Uh, what? <laughs> it's another... I'm it's... glad my fat, ugly mama didn't live to see this day. <laughs> is your mama a ronin? Isn't that what it's about? Ronin, samurai, all that stuff? Uh, speaking of weird things, Cyberpunk 2077... Delayed until September 17th. Who knows, I could still change. Uh, probably even longer. I wouldn't be surprised if that actually got pushed back. Um, I don't know, man. They're making a lot of like specific game consoles and stuff for the Xbox One when the Xbox Series X is right around the corner. I don't know why they're even doing that. Yeah, same for like PS4. I mean, they're probably just going to like re-release it on the next-gen consoles TV page. I already did say for Xbox buyers, if you buy it on the One, you get it on the Series X. So I'm good. Yeah. I just wanna, I, I wanna touch, I wanna touch the PS5. There's lot, there's lots of lewd waifus made of the PS5 already because Rule 34. Uh, <laughs> speaking of pushback, though, uh, so I guess a petition, a petition on Change.org arose in response to this month's that being. May 2020, if, in case you didn't know, uh, PlayStation Plus free games. So we had Farming Simulator 19 and Cities Skylines be the two free games this month, and everyone's right pissed. I mean, you know, if you're into those games, whatever, but like, you can't just follow that after having the last two months be uh, Uncharted 4 and Uncharted uh, Drake Collection. Like, you. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, the Farming Simulator 19. I know you on Farming Simulator 2019. I know you ain't. 20, 2018 is where the real meta's at. 
You guys are gross. Listen, they have the Yamaha. They have the 1992 Yamaha tractor in there. All right. Oh but my god. If you knew how much grain you could till with not one of those babies on automatic, you wouldn't be talking to me about farming simulator. Okay. Okay, you may I be. You were a baby under a car the other day, and that's an unrelated. What the fuck? Uh, okay, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Did Call people really complain about the free games that much? They just actually did. Game yeah, Pass. Just, just get Xbox Game Pass. You have all the games in the world. There's actually a good amount of people who, uh, more so than I thought there'd be, who actually took it serious and signed the petition. In fact, I'm about to look up right now where they're at. It's a, number it. aside, it's a free game. Why are you mad? It is. Yeah, uh, I totally agree. Thirty. Th right. Currently, I'm looking at it right now as of 7:01 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, on this day, on the fifth. Uh, it is up to. Oh my God! It's still climbing. Uh, Thirty-three thousand four hundred seventy-three and climbing. That's more petitions than people put in for getting Reggie Fijame a new chair. <laughs> Fijame. Sorry, is it Fijame or Fijame? Yeah, uh, Fijame. Yeah, that, there were more, there were about twenty six thousand people that wanted to get Rez, Reggie a new chair when he did his whole like goodbye video. Obviously, this he is way it. more important now. Like, come on, he got it by the way. I, I mean, okay, it's not free. You have to pay for a subscription, but like, I don't know. I'm I'm an asshole and I do trial. I, just, I mean, sixty dollars a year. That's right, cheap for the amount of games you get. So sometimes you get duds, sometimes you get wins. Yeah. Like, you know. I mean, that's a, here's the thing. Most people would play would pay fifty dollars for any one of the of the Drake games. So you've already made your money back. I don't understand. Exactly. Well, wait. Farming Simulator isn't as action oriented as the Drake Uncharted Collection. What the hell? Wah. Fetch me a nipple. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, we have for our last morsel of news, and this is actually to date the longest news thing I've ever done. <laughs> Uh, so, the sequel to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga, has been confirmed by Ninja Theory, and it's gonna come out on the Xbox Series X and the PC. It's a game I do want to play, but I need a... I feel like I need to play that at like 3am with my headphones up way too loud. Senua's face scares me. Just genuinely, but I didn't have anything to say about that. She's just scary. Uncanny, Uncanny Valley? No, she's just like an angry broad. That shit freaks me out. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Not wrong, she definitely does. I don't like, uh... Just kidding, I, I, I have no comment on that game. Except for that I want to play it. No. Nope. But the main topic of today, we're gonna be talking about... You know what, Alec, why don't you introduce the main topic that was your idea in the first place? No, I appreciate you throwing this at me without any preparation, so I love that. I wanted to know um, if you could do it. <laughs> well, you know me, you know me. Um, but we're definitely going to be diving into talking about game cravings. Uh, you know, we are stuck here at home. We're hitting on to a little over two months uh, of stay at home during the quarantine. And I really hope everyone who is watching this is doing their part. Remember the fact that staying indoors, not getting together with groups of people, and really just isolating yourself is going to help end this faster. And what you can do in all that time is satisfying your damn cravings of video games. Play that game you've been talking about. Go buy that game you've been talking about. Shit, man, do a third playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. It's amazing. Oh, do do the what you gotta do. Just, and just really oh. succeed, achieve. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> just play those games. And right now, uh, we're talking about cravings of video games. Guys, what games have you been craving? What set? What what have you been doing to satisfy yourself during this quarantine with the games you've been playing? What have you been playing? What Have you been playing something weird? You've been playing the new releases? What have you been playing? I mean, uh, so, like, this is going to, like, sound... This might be too on topic for some people, but it's true. Because people are constantly talking about disease, I've been all over Bloodborne. Just constantly. It's like, I'll play, like an, I'll play an hour of it every single night. I've played that game to Paul, by the way. I flattered it. But I'm still playing that shit just because people keep using the word disease. And I'm, I'm just like, I gotta hunt the beasts. I gotta, I gotta purge these streets. You're telling me when things get all bad and people are starting to riot with fire and everywhere, we just need to give you a blunderbuss and an axe and you got this? Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. You're like the people that play fucking Plague Inc. right now. 
Oh, okay. Better than the people. Hoping. You know it's true. I mean, yeah. Better than the people... oh, I'd say it's better than the people who are getting armed up and geared up to go and protect a hair salon so it can stay open. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Listen, guys. No one's going out anyway. You don't need a haircut that bad. You just don't. Treading on my rights. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I guess, guess uh, I, I guess, guess disclaimer, disclaimer this, this this might turn the slightest bit political. Uh, <laughs> done. I'll, I'll Not, no, done. No, no, that's, that's, that's fine. I just want to let people know. Like, if there's no your thing, go ahead and unsubscribe. Do I care? No. Actually, Actually, please, please I, I need you. I love you. Please don't subscribe. That's the reason I wake up in the morning. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed your warp touch. touch. Yeah, I, this is maybe this is just a, a recommendation as far as far as the actual topic. This might just be a recommendation for me. Like, okay, I am a big Yu-Gi-Oh fiend. I don't know if anybody knows this. I keep it pretty on the DL. I, I know, know this. this. I manage I manage my addictions the way I do. Um, and there is an excellent game, Yu-Gi-Oh! game on Switch right now called Dink Evolution. Just got a big free update. Um, and I want to say you can play with cards, with all of the cards in the game, which is over 10,000 at this point. Um, and it's within like a couple months of the most modern stuff that they're just putting out. If you have any inc inclination to see where the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! has come and gone in the past several years, that I've put up just past, um... Breath of the Wild, is, I'm now at 125 hours into that game. I am not bored yet, not even close. Um, that's definitely a great time killer game, if nothing else. Um, so that's the other one that I've been just non-stop going at since the quarantine started, and it's been a blast. To be real with you, a part of me thought you were going to say Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom, and I was going to chuck my laptop out the window. <laughs> I was going to mention it. Uh... <laughs> Nah, this, is, this cool. game is legit. It's the real ass game. Uh, they got the official rulings and that shit and everything. Um, unlike, in, uh, I will say, False Bound Kingdom is a high quality experience. Um, definitely, definitely FF7 remake levels of RPG. Would you call it a uh, 10 out of 10? I, I would call it a, um, I think I would call it a Blue Eyes White Dragon out of 10. We have to have a very serious conversation after this stream. <laughs> Um, as for me, I have been having cravings of playing old games. Uh, like, I, I played over the last couple of days I had uh, off. You know, before I had to work seven days straight out here in the COVID-infested lands. Uh, Ocarina of Time, the original cartridge on the N64. Like, this cartridge Ooh. was still the one with, like, the slow-ass moving text. Uh, all the unfortunate islamic uh like symbolism and whatnot yeah. uh that nintendo just like was like oh that's islamic what yeah and, and so they got they were like what's the get sued person? right <laughs> holding my ocarina and majora's mask copy right now so I know what you mean. nice nice of course you gotta have the chanting in the fire temple uh the original plan was to actually like stream that i didn't tell anybody about it because i didn't know if it was going to work out but it did and it didn't we had technical issues uh the tv we were using didn't support the mode so uh we weren't able to stream it me and my uh my friend hannah so pat <gasps> we can still do that fuck yes oh, so here's the thing um i'm sure game flavor regulars will know that that's like one of the things we've been doing is streaming the Zelda games. And just like, haha, this is this is our life now. Um, <laughs> and and I'm quite happy that I that I'm not excluded from the the one, the one that everyone talks about and cannot stop gobbing. When I say gobbing, I do mean giving rough sloppy blow jobs. You guys get to Wind Waker call me. So uh, Oh, we actually did that one. Uh, no, I, I saw that. I'll be real with you, and I, I a little left out, but that's fine. I was taking my hiatus. No. no <laughs> hey, you that can, was a fun you can, one. You can choose again. Get the Phantom Hourglass. Call me. <laughs> if you can find a way to stream Phantom Hourglass, I will ten thousand percent go to your house right now. I will take work off. Yeah, you honestly. Stream. Oh, you wait until the end of the quarantine. Nah. No. no, <laughs> Look, I go out. I go out every day because I gotta physically go to my job. Like. <laughs> I'm the not afraid of COVID. You, 
the fact that you acknowledged Phantom Hourglass means I, I am honor bound. Um, I signed a deal. Uh, you don't know it's in my contract. Yeah, not even spirit tracks. Fucking yeah, I, Phantom I, Hourglass. Yeah. This man Phantom says. Hourglass is phenomenal, dude. It is. You to, like draw your path, and then you had to like go. With, you had to. You're like fighting a giant squid. You're like, oh shit, I gotta draw my path. Now I gotta shoot it and hope the path isn't shit. Yeah. I gotta. No, I gotta. Fucking do the Zawardo and like do an infinity sign just to like be able to hit him. Um, real shit. And everyone complains about the Temple of the Water of the Ocean King. I mean, it's bad. Yeah, that shit got a little bit tedious, but I never. When I did my original playthrough, and maybe I was just a stupid ass kid, I never found that shit to be like that bad. They give you Complete. a lot of shortcuts. It's fine. Completely agree. I uh, I also am, am in the same boat. I, I watch you know watch reviews. We watch people talk about it in like top ten videos or whatever. And you're and I zero recollection of it being tedious. So I was like, was it really that bad? Yeah, I don't remember it. I just remember every time I went back, I could do new shit because I had a new item or a new weapon or a new this. And it was you like, just cool. clean, clean house. Yeah, it's like it's it's like you got to Metroid the shit out of the area and just go through it with a whole new set of weapons and tools. And it just it felt like the. I thought, if anything, I remember at the time thinking, like, this dungeon is extremely, like, the best design dungeon, one of the best ones they've ever done. Not only does it accommodate every single tool in the game, but also, like, it's, they're expecting it to be playable with and without all of them, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. What a banger. What a good game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is quite the banger. I, I, I prefer the sure gameplay... I prefer most of the gameplay of uh, Spirit Tracks, but not the travel. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. I never played Spirit Tracks, so that's where my uh, knowledge ends. I honestly think the first Zelda game I truly beat was Phantom Hourglass. Oh, and nice. So Spirit Tracks is Phantom Hourglass, except you can't decide. I mean, except you can't decide where the boat goes. Like, you just have to. You're fixed to the rails because you're on a train, right? And boy. Yeah. Uh, but you could you could choose left and right and reverse and all that, and you, you get a little you can uh, do the horn, but uh, the horn. <laughs> the main part is that they took a lot of the little weird things that happen in uh, uh, control wise, uh, especially having to do with the sort of vague movements movements you would do on the touchpad for um, or the touch screen rather for Phantom Hourglass. Uh, like instead of having to do like a tiny little circle in the corner of the screen to roll, you just double tap in Spirit Tracks and then you'd roll, making it way easier. Uh, There's just a lot of like quality of life things that they did. Uh, they have a similar temple to the Temple of the Ocean King, where you do return with new items to do it, but only you don't have to go through all the stuff you already beat. You can literally, you can if you want. But you, there's a staircase, like a main staircase that's like, okay, well, you know, just take the stairs to the next part of the tower that you just built. Now you get to go there. Yeah. Plus, plus, can can anyone hate a game where the final boss is, de is demonic Thomas the Tank Engine? Can you really? It I mean, <laughs> how are you gonna talk shit? About I like that? a real Cuban, Cuban music time, like the dun 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 dun. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, what you trying to listen to, Biggie? <laughs> oh my god I, look, I all i have is flashbacks of julian showing me that we like to party video oh my god <laughs> to put it in the description so people know what i'm talking oh, about for sure in, in fact i'm gonna just have it in the background uh bgm just just now actually uh right now <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta love that gotta love that again um <laughs> uh what other games uh, you guys been craving? I mean, for me personally, uh, as you guys know, I even mentioned it while we were kind of warming up for this, that I kind of craved an RPG game. Like, don't get me wrong, I really love that Animal Crossing came out, and I kind of kind of kicking myself for not picking up Doom Eternal. I just didn't really have a, 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 a lust for that kind of game, so I went and picked up, I wanted like an RPG game, and I almost, almost booted up Fallout New Vegas again. But, you know, I just had to stop myself. And part of the new game that Obsidian released, uh, uh, the Outer Worlds. And I was pretty interested in it because, you know, everyone hypes that shit up. People were saying Obsidian's back. They're in the, they're in the, they're, they're killing it. And I was really excited. And honestly, I turned it on and it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I really, I enjoyed the gunplay, but I just feel like the world didn't capture me like I was looking for. And I found myself 
really kind of bored in every area I went into. And it was like, oh, welcome to this place. They, these people have a problem with these people and you can either go kill them or you can talk to them about their problem. You can either put everyone in a bad situation, a worse situation, or a not so bad, but still kind of bad in its own way situation. And it's like, this just this doesn't feel very fulfilling in my opinion. That's what it sounds like to me. The, game, the central gameplay loop, gameplay loop did not pay off in ways that were appealing. Yeah, it never it never hooked me and that's why i was like i need to go to something that I'm, I'm clearly just here to kill stuff right now i need to go to something that's going to feel more satisfying when i kill stuff and so that's why i did my last of us grounded playthrough which was one of the most grueling games i've ever played which i still need to watch by the way I, I'm, I got a super cut coming soon hey people listening to this video in case it's not out yet super cut coming soon of the whole live stream i just finished binging it and writing down all the fun moments mm. Austin. <laughs> Nice. I should have been working on the, the Monster Hunter review, but uh, life. Here's something that I have also been playing. Now, see, while I'm not the kind of person who would play, I guess, in Patrick's uh, thing, Bloodborne because Pandemic, or for those weirdos out there that play Jenga during 9-11. Uh, oh my god. I'll play... That's, that's a thing. <laughs> You know, it's up, it, up to you, up, up to the viewer, up to you guys, uh, but I, I do like to play horror games any time of the year, don't really care. Uh, yep. So, Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake is what I've been craving and playing sometimes when I have the time. Uh, Resident Evil 2, I'm honestly on my fourth playthrough right now, uh, second run with Leon, I know I'm like super late to the game, uh, I, I only picked it up at the end of 2019. Um, but, like, it's just so much fun, but also, like, I'm a giant pussy, so it takes me a while to get through these games when I'm playing it by myself. I'm now at the level where I can do that, because at this point, uh, real life is way scarier. <laughs> yeah, you, you think those zombies are scary. You should have seen what I caught my neighbor doing last night. Coughing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Without covering his goddamn mouth. Yeah. Wait, Julian, are you telling me there you can play horror games not in one sitting? Because whenever I play a horror game, like for example, whenever I sat down and played the Dead Space series, I would sit down and binge at least six hours of it to the so much. I, I just consume so much horror that I get to the point where I'm brain dead to it, and I can actually focus on the gameplay. Nope. I mean, that's well, <laughs> do it, man. Resident Evil Three you know, was yeah. easier because, like, you know, they give you a lot of. I, I don't know if you know, but the original Resident Evil 3 was more like, all right, we're going to do less of the slow pace, scary, and more of, like, the action pace. That's when they really started, like, picking it up. Like, in Resident Evil 4, it's not exactly as scary. I mean, it is kind of scary, but whatever. But then Resident Evil 5 kind of, like, threw that out the window, and so did 6, and then it came to a return to the slow pace scariness of 7, because you don't have all these weapons on, like, you know, 6, 5, and 3. Uh, you're really never in a position, unless you're bad, of like, oh shit, I don't have anything to do. Like, I, I, I don't have the weapons to circumvent this or handle Nemesis or whatever the fuck. Whereas, all I need to do is hear, like, the fucking... ...of Mr. X walking through the goddamn police station, and I shit my pants. Speaking of our Resident Evil games, guess which one of the franchise I've been kind of craving to play and I might scoop up? Seven. Beat seven. Good guess. What's your guess, Pat? Four. Of Resident Evil? Of the Resident Evil franchise, there's a certain one of them that I've been craving to finally play. Guess which one it is. It's gotta be four. It's gotta be four. No, you're, good Good guess. That's second place. Like, I want to scoop that up on the Wii again because I lost my Wii copy a long time ago. Because it's it, the best way to play Resident Evil 4 is on the Wii. We'll hold that opinion forever. Um, but Resident Evil 6, I want to play that one. Yeah. I don't even know shit about that game. It might be on sale right now on uh, I'm PlayStation. I'm thinking about scooping it up. PlayStation. I mean, you know. Just kidding. It's, it's, it's a good console. It just, I have no space on my PlayStation for anything. I, I, grew, I was Googling Resident Evil stuff. Six is the last game that comes up when you just Google the words Resident Evil. So I'm very curious why this is that you wanted to do six. Well, I keep seeing videos here and there of people like saying, you know, it's honestly a fun game, but I watched somebody playing it 
and explained like people just complained about this game being too action oriented and didn't learn the movement and didn't learn the gunplay and i saw people doing these crazy slide flips like preload melee stuff and i was like what this looks stupid fun i want to do that so I, I think i'm gonna do it just so i can do i i love games with good movement i think i'm gonna do it just to clown around I, I, I do... Here's the thing. Resident Evil is a game series that has a lot of identity issues. Um, because on the one hand, you have some of the really like craziest horror character designs and concepts in, in terms of how they do the T various viruses and how they're applied to characters. And on the other hand, there was some really, really solid horror gameplay early on. Um, and so it's kind of like you can't please the fan base at this point because it's fundamentally divided between two entirely separate types of games. Absolutely. You, you can kind of, like, though, because I, I don't think they've ever captured this, recaptured this magic, and maybe they eventually will, but uh, everyone seems to love Resident Evil 4, whether or not you're a fan of the old style of, like, horror, where, you know, Bro, it's very slow it? pace. Bro, have played masterpiece. I know, I have played it uh, through its entirety. I played with you back in the day with Wii, and we were fucking freaking out. We couldn't aim straight. Fuck, uh, I know. <laughs> the Wii is the real way to play it. Like, that, you, you know when you're having a hard time aiming when it's on you for not hitting that headshot. Right. <laughs> Versus, like, a controller. But, like, um, you know, everyone seemed to really like 7 as well, because they're like, oh, it's back to its roots, you know? It's like, I mean, it may be first person... But it's back to its roots of like, oh, this is actually scary and I'm not like prepared to do all this action shit. But like, I feel like there was a good balance between like the C tier movie camp that was the entirety of uh, Resident Evil 4 and also the horror because there's actually like tenseness. If like the better you play, the more they throw those like plug ass bugs at you that come out of people's neck stumps if you get a headshot sometimes it's always like a 50 50 chance i feel like so like you blow up someone's head and you're like bet haha -ha. and then the the bug comes out and can basically one shot you. you're like oh god yeah i um it's funny you mentioned about like the combat and stuff like that i think one thing people don't realize that happens in resident evil 7 i mean don't get me wrong you're absolutely right it definitely gets back to the great horror elements and resident evil 7 had my heart rate thumping and let's be real, the moment when you do the pretty much the Saw VHS tape where you have to like solve a puzzle and like slowly get more mutilated as you do it is one of the best moments of like the last decade when it comes to video games. Um, but the, the game ends as an action game. You are mowing through hordes of bad guys. Every Resident Evil game ends the same way. You are so well armed and they throw everything at you and you get a feel, you get that power flux because you're like, I'm finally dunking on these dudes. And uh, it, that's just one thing people forget about what happens in a Resident Evil game. It does become an action game by the end. Uh, but on my last thing I want to say, Resident Evil 4, I didn't realize this, but you know Luis, the guy who helps you get your, your cure so that you can survive a little longer to save the uh, the president's daughter with ballistics? God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw it in the comments and I didn't even realize it. It was, imagine imagine being killed and the last thing you hear is a foreigner super butcher your name. Because when, when oh, Luis yeah. goes, Leon, I got he goes, Luis! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how did that get past fucking filming oh. <laughs> well that's something i'd expect from a, a white guy from the mid 2000s in a c tier movie so you know that's that, so that's funny the thing too, like how do i put that the horror movies like when they hit they hit so hard but when and like it really gets you it really gets your blood pump and it works and it scares you and it's like fear is one of the strongest emotions but when it doesn't work there is nothing worse you know what i mean like and i think that's part of the thing with like what you see in these games is if it actually does scare you and gets you going you're gonna think it's awesome because like the emotional like thrill the adrenaline of fear is like really hard to compare with in terms of like experiences you can have when you're playing a video game and i think that's kind of what makes the resident evil Six games so interesting is that they like play with that while at the same time having like all of the bad parts of four it's like it really honestly i bet you you could compare like the resident evil series to something like the jason films where there are a bunch of really classic good movies but also like there's just some campy schlock mixed in and there's nothing you can do about that you know what i mean like, 
Like, which one of these teenagers do you think is going to take their top off? The blonde one? Oh, yeah, you got it already. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, and it's like, I wonder if there will be zombies in this Resident Evil game, and there will be a mysterious virus, and you know all of the things, but even then, they can come out with a game, like, so recently, 7, where they, decide, they decided to vary the presentation and the methodology of how they do things, and it, like, makes people scared again, even though they know everything that's about to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of, you know... I don't know exactly what my point is. The point is that Resident Evil is a very, even though it isn't always the highest quality product, it's still technically a strong representative of the whole horror as a genre. Even if it's like, you know what I mean? It's so impactful too. Like, just think about it. We're talking about games that we crave to play and Resident Evil is a game that's coming up on all of us. Like, it's an incredible experience. Doesn't matter which one you play. Like, I love the original Resident Evil remake the, of the first one where they fix the tank controls and you can actually go through that game and it's bearable. But it's a blast, you know? Like, they, they're such amazing games yet they're trash in so many ways. And we just, it's, you can only get a horror experience like that through video games. You'll never get that in a movie. Oh yeah, because exactly. it's happening through you, 100%. Yeah, and like you, you gotta be able to like, you gotta react. Yep. You, you can't afford to just sit there and like freeze because you're gonna lose. Yep, yep, and it's much more fun when you're panicking and screaming and your friends are telling you to shoot the zombie and you're <laughs> shooting the fucking chin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I played with, uh, I played part of Resident Evil 2, actually the whole, I guess, um, campaign of Claire with Pat and another person and uh, we were like jumping out of the couch like in fear yeah. and shit and it was... The amount of time something came around the corner and like jump scared us and then we just paused the game and walked away because we were not ready <laughs> <laughs> Or we'd be like trying to scare each other IRL like as we're taking like bathroom breaks and shit because you know all the lights are off You're like all right I think I'm good now. It took a second to like pee and you know breathe, so let me just walk back here. Ah! Ah! What the f <laughs> You know? Resident oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Evil 4 is the one I've actually played with people. Otherwise, I usually play horror games by myself because I kind of I really like that isolation fear, and I've really enjoyed playing them with headphones. I actually think like um, kind of guy who plays who plays fucking who play, who plays games alone in the dark with headphones on. You're that guy. Damn, I do like to be that guy. It's pretty fun. I was actually going to say the next game I think I'm going to put in the disc drive and try to beat on its hardest difficulty is Dead Space 2 again. That game that game beats my cheeks all the time. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I like, I really, I do remember playing Dead Space um, at a friend's a few years back. And that game was fantastically scary the first time I played it. And later I'm just like, man, I just like these guns. I want to keep playing with these fucking guns. Hmm. Honestly, Dead Space and Dead Space One, and uh, Final Fantasy. What am I doing? Resident Evil Two Remake. My bad. Uh, <laughs> those are the two games that I absolutely refuse to play with surround sound. Can't do it. Will not do it. Refuse to do it. If you if you've got like, if you're out here talking about some, oh look at my fucking subwoofer. I call them the dogs. <laughs> and you want to play like those games with me? No, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna have it come out of the. TV, like gentlemen. Uh, I'm not wearing no like special headphones either, so that I, oh you can uh, hear everything around it. No, if, if I don't need to. Play Amnesia: The Dark Descent in a dark room. With oh headphones fuck on, that! And not stain your floor. With yeah, you, I applaud you. You can go somewhere uh, with that. I'm not. I'm not I doing it. <laughs> I completely agree with. I had to play with that with a friend, and we got like 70% through the game, and we were like, it's it's fucking 2 a.m scared and i'm going to bed <laughs> Jeez. jules i'm gonna have to get you to play dead space 3 with me uh headphones only so, dead space okay. 3 isn't scary and, oh you don't you you did you play it it, it can be like, pretty I played, I played a little bit of it. i played like the first two missions and it just didn't feel the same i played the demo and i was like what is this hold on okay not i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this dead space rant to a very short very short uh, space. So stop me if I go on for longer than uh, 90 seconds, Julia. Get a timer going. Uh, uh, all right, hold on. <laughs> okay, get, get, get the timer ready, but I'm going to just start it off with this. Hey, this Siri, start a timer time. for 90 seconds. You got it? Yeah, there we go. 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 <laughs>
Space franchise is fantastic. One, two, and three are all great games in their own special ways. One is very scary. Two is amazing with the gameplay, and it's scary for a little while. The last part of it gets pretty, just mostly action, but it's still scary. It kind of comes down to your own. It it kind of comes down to if it's scary. It's only scary if you don't binge it. If you binge it from beginning to end, you, you become numb to it. But if you don't binge it, it's scary as fuck. Dead Space 3, super scary if you play by yourself. Obviously, yes, you get to a point where it's not scary as much, but it's definitely not scary when you have friends. But if you are someone like me, who knows where all the scares are, you can just be like, oh, you know what? Let's just walk in down this hallway. Totally fine. Oh, you got jumped? Oh, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. All great games. Even even with their weird stories, they're all amazing. Would recommend all three Dead Spaces. Rest in peace, Visceral. I'll miss you. Unfortunate. How long was that? That was... Alright, you had 38 seconds to go. Nice. Went fast. Dead Space <laughs> 3 is great. Don't talk speed. Shit. I am speed. I um, have all three of my copies of Dead Space right now. Speaking of speed, another game I like to play. Um, and this is kind of going to be cheating, but uh, Son any Sonic the Hedgehog game, really, specifically the Adventure series, because it's you about... Love Sonic 06? I mean, I'm about to replay that, too. Despite my many warnings. No no cap. I'm about to like go back to my storage locker and go dig out my PS3. Julian, it's like watching you go back to an abusive ex. It really is. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Look, I already told you how I've had more fun. I've had more fun with that game than Shadow the Hedgehog. You didn't throw away that magazine you showed me. Uh, I don't know where it is, but I, I, I know I didn't throw it away. Need you, you you need to talk about 06 and and show that and show that magazine in the video like i just i need to see that happen <laughs> I, i'll have to dig it up uh did you hear what move. you found okay. hmm, what did you find sonic porn it, it, it wasn't sonic porn but um yeah, so did, disney had this old like mini magazine for kids and whatnot and part of each issue would have like a little bit of something for games because kids like video games so this is all the way back in the good old year of 2005 when they were announcing 06. Like, it was just before it came out, I believe, or something like that. It might have came out 2006. I don't even remember when 06 came out, and who would remember that? But either way, there was, like, a whole page about it, like, just talking about how cool it was to get a first look at the game and whatnot. And they literally, it was, like... <laughs> It was dubbed, like, the number one out of... There was a top ten best games of that year, and it was number one. Second place was uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight, Twilight Princess, Princess on the Wii. Busted. <laughs> no, can we talk about the fact that fucking Twilight Princess had a GameCube release? Yeah, man. I mean... I'm honest to right, played it. GameCube release, and then right after uh, Wii release. I didn't play the GameCube one, if, unless you count HD. Uh, if you play HD on the Wii U, uh, you actually are playing the GameCube version. Uh, so everything is mapped to that. But if you play hard mode, or hero mode as they call it, uh, you actually play the Wii format. I why the oh. HD looks worse than the original. I disagree. I'm just joking. I just saw a video talking about that. <laughs> oh no, that that would be for like. I listen to. Are you are you talking about the guy who uh, has been basically like talking about Majora's Mask remake and Ocarina of Time remake and? Oh, I just there's a guy who showed a very brief clip of when they were uh, showing the trailer for uh, the the HD and the original, and there was a point that shows Zelda's face, and in the HD version, her face the contrast is like blown all the way out, and you're like, what? Why does she look like that compared to the original? <laughs> Oh, but back to uh, back to the Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Uh, so I recently was able to fully complete my PC and get a graphics card that could handle a bunch of games. And of course, the first things I did was get an entire humble bundle of fucking Sonic games. Uh, cool. So of the them, first thing you did was ruin it. <laughs> of them, I started modding and playing Sonic Adventure Two, right? So uh, oh, you, you tell me you modded it so you can have sex with Big the Cat. Uh, you can't. I did not. But, you know, ideas for Sonic Adventure 1, though, for sure. Uh, yeah. But well, you can actually make it, like, I don't know guys how you guys experience Sonic Adventure 2, probably on the GameCube. But there's an interesting thing with a lot of it on the GameCube. That port is actually really bad, turns out. 
Uh, so this kind of the mods I put on kind of restores its original version on the Dreamcast. Uh, Knuckles no longer looks like he's coated black. Uh, <laughs> like for some reason his skin tone like was super dark on the GameCube version, and they undid that. Uh, no longer somersaults no longer stop your momentum. Which if you're playing a Sonic game and your momentum stops for just by hitting a button, that's a bad Sonic game. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Hedgehog <laughs> episode four, uh, <clears throat> convincing cough. Um, and then I guess for like because I like doing things fast. Uh, the other thing, the other game that I enjoyed or that I have been craving recently has been Paladins, because there's a character who is basically Sonic the Hedgehog. If they had throwing knives, and was French. Uh, <laughs> she's great and she's my main and I love her. Um. Yeah, that one. That is, uh, I will also say, I've been playing a decent amount. Yeah, yeah the Paladin's, Paladin's great. great. Uh, it's, it's not, not the poor man's Overwatch. There's I a mean, very big distinction. Uh, please yeah. watch Shammy's uh, yeah. video on that. Quality. What a quality just, video. Oh, so Let me great. Just put it this way: where Overwatch is run by the worst company on earth. Um, Oof. I will. I will absolutely assume that hot take. They're not EA. Fine. The worst company's Lover. Um, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. You have a phone? <laughs> I'll accept that. Do you guys have phones? What are you mad about? <laughs> Come on, I have a phone. <laughs> um, while it is that game, I will say, okay, it has the polish. Paladin just does not have the polish. That game's a glitchy mess. I've been getting alerts that I bought a product. <laughs> I've been getting. <laughs> In the most recent past, they've been alerting me about a bundle I bought. I want to say like years ago. Itself. Like, <laughs> the, uh, congrats, product. you got the God of War patch. <laughs> yeah. Every single so, time I you mean, boot it. The game's, the game's fucky, but shit, man, it's free. I don't know what to tell you. It's a fun game. Go fucking play it. I don't know why. Why I have to. I, I don't know. I'm just big on push it like, so that's okay. I'll Respect go, it. Go buy on this and play it. Just do that for me. Um, I, I respect you. Your, your dead wife will come back to life. Oh. <laughs> You'll get that job you always wanted. You can you can send your hate mail directly to me if that means. If, if you didn't, it's because you um, didn't complete the game. So. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Ah uh, yes, the paladin speed run. <laughs> wife alive, any percent. <laughs> We'll, I will add on to the uh, free-to-play games craving list, uh, Apex Legends. Fuck anybody who wants to come out here and say, dead game, dead game. Like, I, I can't tell you how many times I look at the page for Apex of people saying, like, hey, here's the next uh, next thing coming up for Season 5. And some some dude, there's always one dude that goes in there and says, dead game, dead game. And it's like, who the fuck told you it's a dead game? It literally just had multiple tournaments that each tournament gave out a, a winning prize pool of over $100,000. What was that? I said you needed a second. But either way, Apex would recommend all day, every day. I mean, I did only try it once. Uh, I don't have a squad to go with, so I was like, I have zero want to play this game. Uh, That's fair. I don't blame you for that. For me, it's it's for me, it's more of a it's I, I love love siege don't get me wrong siege is really great because every firefight has so many different ways to go and i enjoy games that have so much creativity in what you can do and that's why i love titanfall 2 titanfall 2 is my favorite shooter of last decade and that's solely because of how much movement you can do the apex legends lets you do the br and sweat with friends because people actually play apex legends unfortunately people don't play titanfall 2 and movement man there's nothing more satisfying than hearing a shield crack and dropping a dude and then slide hopping maybe jumping off a wall who knows doing a couple spin tricks to dodge some bullets finish a reload and then melt a kid oh ignite <laughs> it does feel good to style on people uh a lot of my rushes uh have been coming from i guess yeah online multiplayer which is, i want to go back to uh call of duty black ops 2 i want to see if i'll find some actual servers because that's Call the best booty. one. Call of Booty, back that ass, Ops. Uh, that and dicking on people. So this, I guess this craving is just the craving to dick on someone. 
and have them hold an L to me. So, like, Smash Brothers, Paladins, Black Ops, well, you name it. Like, competitive like, fighters, shooters, whatever the fuck. Dragon Ball fighters, although I'm bad at that. Uh, I, d I just really crave, like, actual... Not even just online, just human people, you know, just fighting against them. Or, like, uh, something that me and my roommates will do is we'll jump on Smash Bros. Ultimate and we'll play 2v2 online and we'll see who gets to dick on who, you know? Yeah. I'd actually love to try to do some uh, online Smash with some friends. I just, uh, I, I you know, I don't really have many people to play with and I'm actually pretty trash at Smash nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Online is a whole different contender, my man, because there's people you think, oh, wow, no one's more trash than I am. Yes, there are. There are people out there. And well, there also, is another. Just running Wi-Fi, so let's be real. Mm. Yeah. Gotta hit that leg switch. Listen, guys, I gotta hop off. Oh, it's been a pleasure casting with all of you, though. Ah, yes. Oh, wait. Thanks for Catch you soon. Thanks for being on the cast, my dude. Yeah, I hope to be on tomorrow. Look forward to that. Look forward to that. Uh, that Ocarina of Time stream. It's gonna, it's coming. Yes. Also, if people want to like play a game or something afterwards, we totally can. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Gotta play Star Fox. Later, folks. Buster. Do this. Be Speaking of my last craving, I'm going to put on the list before we call it. Star Fox 64. Um, I'm hitting a uh, solid year since I played my last playthrough, so I'm going to drop another playthrough real quick here and uh, see how that goes. That would be solid. Uh, let me know when you're going to do that. I'll see if I can tune in. Um, no longer getting swamped at work, so more than likely. I might, I really might just throw it together right after this, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, bet. <laughs> <laughs> bet, bet. But yeah, that's uh, that's my whole ass list. That's everyone's whole ass list. Um, if you guys, uh, for those of you watching and listening up to this point, thanks for sticking around. Go ahead and why don't you drop what you've been craving to play in the comments below. And uh, thanks for listening once again. Hit that like button if you like what you uh, heard or saw, whatever. Uh, there, I mean, like I'm just throwing up random video game footage up there. Uh, <laughs> Um, and then go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to get notifi notified by everything we're doing. Don't forget to hit that bell and put it to all notifications if you're on a computer. To uh, know exactly everything we do, we have also have a Facebook page and Twitter page. The Twitter page does not get updated. <laughs> but the Facebook page... To get back into Twitter. That stuff's hard to get into. Yeah, I fucking hate Twitter. But, uh... <laughs> Facebook, that's where I thrive, and that's where you will find the updates that I put for uh, the channel. Also, stolen memes. Uh, yeah, if you want to know anything about that, just go into the description box and everything. But I am rambling. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. Peace. Yeah, delicious.